What's going on everybody? This is Bishop J, AKA Bambi Bishop. And as you can see, I'm here to discuss the Pioneer Rev 7 versus the Rain 1. So welcome to Bambi's DJ Corner. So right now these are the hottest controllers or some of the hottest controllers in the game. And ironically, I was able to get my hands on the Rain 1 as soon as it was released. Now the Rev 7 over here right now is a little bit difficult to get your hands on because of limited supplies. And according to the manufacturers, there is a chip shortage. So most of the time when you try to get these, they are on back order. And as soon as they come in through distribution, they are already out the door. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about some of the likenesses and some of the differences. All right. So let's get it into it and break it down. All right. So starting with the Rev 7 over here. Uh, the Rev 7 is a very intuitive controller. It is a two channel controller. As you can see, the mixer in the middle is based off the DJM. Uh, I think it's the S5 or S7 mixers. And the differences between the Rev 7 and the Rain 1 over here is that the Rev 7 controller, you find it in battle mode, which a lot of scratch DJs like because the pitch faders are located at the top. That's to not impede the DJ's performance. And also the RGB pads, the color pads right here, you'll find them in the middle of the mixer. Also, you'll find your mag fill fader, which is absolutely fabulous. I mean, this thing, <laughs> this thing is incredible. But also over here on the ring one, you'll see that the color pads are located at the bottom of the jog wheels. But like the Rev 7, the Rain 1 also has a Magbell fader. Now the differences between the two, the jog wheels on the Rain 1 are slightly smaller than the ones you'll find on the Pioneer Rev 7. But also the differences in the two are that these are digitized and you can place album art, you can place your own DJ logo, or whatever you want to place inside of the jock wheels on the Rev 7, being that it is a digital controller. Now, if you go over here to the Ring 1, you'll see that this, this technology is based off of your standard turntable technology and functionality. And don't get me wrong, this thing is a beast as well. I really have thoroughly enjoyed the Ring 1, so shout out to both Pioneer and to Ring for making these outstanding products. Now, coming back to the Rev 7, one of the things that I love about it, the intuitiveness of the Rev 7 is that it has post fader effects. Uh, on the back, you'll find your standard XLR hookups and a couple of RCA, which means that you can use the post fader effects and also hook up turntables or CDJs or whatever you want to use and you will still be able to use these effects. Now, the major difference with the Rain 1, yeah, the Rain 1, is that the effects are not post fader, and you'll have to tweak them inside of whatever software you use, such as Virtual DJ or Serato. All right. Now, we go here at the top you'll find scratch, scratch Bank, which is a functionality of the Rev 7, which essentially means their samples find, you'll find inside of this controller, which enables the DJ to practice their sets, and you can also load your own sounds into this. All right. So yeah, right now, once again, talking to the manufacturers, these are on back order. A lot of people trying to get their hands on this, but supplies are limited. And also, in talking to suppliers, essentially all DJ equipment is on back order and, and limited supplies. So basically what that means is 
If you got your hands on something, you better hold on to it. Because there's no telling when you're going to see it in the store again. So this is the uh, Rev 7 versus the Rain 1. This is not to disparage either controller because I find that I have likenesses and things that I like about the Rain 1 that I don't find inside of the Rev 7. But there are things about the Rev 7 that I don't find in the Rain 1. All right. Yeah, so uh, just a short synopsis. I mean, all of this is based on DJ likeness. One DJ is gonna like this and one DJ is gonna like that. But I will say this, I've seen a lot of DJs online doing your sets using both of these controllers. So make sure you holler back in the comment, follow, like, and share, and talk about what you like about both of these controllers. And once again, thanks for stopping by Bambi's DJ Corner. And we will be discussing other controllers in the near future. So big up, respect, and more love to all DJs. And I'll holler at you next time. Peace.